welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way, and I am back this week with a really fun Christmas project for you. So I'm going to be using some of the new release stamps, uh, specifically this one, the Watercolor Stone Creek scene, and uh, it is just this simple scene right here. We're going to turn this into a winter scene and something just perfect for Christmas. So I think you're gonna really enjoy this project. It's really, really fun. I'm gonna uh, show you a couple of other things too. I wanna show you how to make this really fun snowy tree right here. Uh, we're gonna use some things in the background. I'm gonna show you how to make this cute little garland here. And then how to turn this little creek into a snowy creek. So uh, lots of lessons to learn uh, with this instructional. So I hope, you, um, I hope you enjoy it. So here's what else we're going to need. Uh, we're gonna need this snowy tree right here. So the large one that comes in this set, this is the snowman set, we're gonna use the large one right here. And then part of the new release, we're gonna use the barn set. Now this is purely optional, we're gonna use the little uh, fence right here. So this one, we're gonna use that. And then in here, the small little tree, so this tiny, tiny little fir tree that we're gonna put in the back. In the branches set, this one right here, we're gonna use it just kind of in the foreground where this little creek is. And what else do we have here? Oh, the trees. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna turn this tree, uh, we're gonna turn that snowy tree into this little fir tree with snow on it. So we're gonna use one of these fir boughs, this one right here, so the small one. There's a large one and a small one. We're gonna use the small one. And then in the tree, the tree set, we're gonna use this taller, the taller fir tree. And then uh, I put the little church in here and I kind of tucked it behind this hill. Now it's this one right here. Now you can use um, you can use either of these trees into the background. So you can change this up and, and really the point of these tutorials is to just to give you ideas. So, you know, I, this, I hope this sparks your imagination and you try it with other things as well. So like I said, I'm using this church right here, but there are many, many things that you can use in place of that. So uh, from the rustic cabin set, if you don't have that church set, these would be great back here uh, underneath this, um, in this section here. And you can see that, um, you know the the um, the idea with the with these simple scenes is that you can turn these into little villages and put little structures back here. But they also work great with these larger structures. And really what that does is it turns the little river into a little creek. So um, it will just kind of work. It really will. So you can use a larger structure in here, which is kind of why I chose the big church. So um, any of these larger structures are gonna work great. They're gonna work just great on here. So even these, these are the um, kind of the mid, mid size, these little cabins, these will work great too. So will the barns, either of these two barns will work great in the background. Uh, you could put a little wreath on here on both of these, or you could do this little um, garland like, like I'm showing you on here. So um, use your imagination just because I'm using something and maybe you don't have that set, uh, feel free to use what you have and just kind of make it work. It will work, I promise. Okay, so let's get going on this. We're gonna start out by stamping that, um, the basic image, and that would be the church. And you can see we're tucking it kind of behind this little hill here. So I don't necessarily want all of these lines in. So if you think about this backwards, here's the hill that we're gonna tuck that church behind. So we wanna see that hill. And then uh, this back here, this one back here, we don't need all of this. So we're only gonna ink probably from here over and then uh, this line here and then of course the rest of the stream. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let me just position this so that I have everything in screen. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and stamp or ink this up and I'm going to use a piece of scratch paper because I do wanna stamp off this little, um, the area where the creek is. So we're gonna do two colors on that. So the dark blue and the dark brown. So these two, 969 and 565. We're gonna use these two. And then we're also going to use a very, very light gray. This is an N89 and really it's just a very, very light gray. So it doesn't really matter which one you're using. Uh, basically all it's doing Doing is marking these little hills so that you have a guide. Um, you know, we're going to probably stamp over, you know, some of them anyway. That's why they're light. Okay, so it's just to give you a guide. So we're going to start out with the little rocks and we're going to start out with the dark brown and we're just going to ink the rocks. We just want two colors on the rocks. The rest of it is going to be just blue. So now we're going to go over the whole thing again, the rocks and the stream. So we're going to start here where the stream is and we're gonna go over the rocks. And 
and then get this stream in here like this. Now this is the part that we're gonna stamp off. We just don't want this to be too dark. So we're gonna stamp that off just like that and now we'll come back and now we're gonna put our light gray in. So that would be this line here, this one back here, and then remember, we're not gonna use that uh, line on the right, so we're just gonna do these two, and then we'll hit this little line right here. And now we are ready to stamp that onto uh, our watercolor paper. Make sure we get that straight and centered. And that is exactly what we want. So we can see these light areas in the background, so we have that guideline, and yet our rocks and stream aren't too dark, and yet we can still see our little hill where we're gonna tuck that little church. I just think it adds a little more interest um, to put this behind a hill. Now, you don't have to do that. You could stamp this whole thing on top, but it gives the idea that this is really snowy, the snow is deep, and this little church is just kind of buried in the snow back here, okay? So now we're going to cover this hill because um, we do want to tuck it back there. And I can just do that with a piece of masking tape. And I'm just going to just cover it uh, just like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just getting the, the bulk of it. And now I'm going to, to ink this, ink this up. And I'm just going to ink it in the dark blue. So let me get my scratch paper because I am going to use my positioner and I'm also going to stamp it off. So let me grab my positioner here and my little plexiglass. Make sure I've got it clean and tuck it in here like this. So I'm gonna ink this in the dark blue, just this whole thing. Just this whole thing, we're just gonna ink this all up. And then I'm going to uh, place it into my uh, positioner so I can just kind of see where it's gonna go. And I'm gonna tuck it behind this hill. And that looks pretty good. We wanna tuck it behind there, but we still wanna see, uh, we wanna see the little windows. So I think that is probably great right there. And just make sure it's straight. Make sure the lines are straight. And we're gonna stamp it in there. So not too dark, I don't want it too dark. And now we can remove this little piece of tape and you can see we've got it tucked, tucked behind this little hill back here. Okay, so now we're going to put in the tree. Now, um, the reason I chose this snowy tree, and you can see it doesn't look anything like the picture because this is, this is a, a snowy tree that's completely snowy, and this is an evergreen with patches of snow on it. But we're gonna use this as a pattern. So just, to, uh, just for size, and it just works great, you guys, I promise it works great. So I'm going to use my positioner again. And I'm going to ink this just with the blue. Now I really want to stamp this off because I want this really light. So I'm going to just stamp it off onto my scratch paper. Really get that stamped off. And then I'm going to use my positioner so that I can see where I want it. And I think that looks pretty good right there. I want it kind of close to that little stream. and then very lightly, you just wanna stamp this very lightly. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put in our masking fluid because that's the key to this snowy tree and uh, the snow in the background. So we're gonna use our mask pen and this is the Molotov. And the way this works is you just wanna, you just wanna shake it and pump it until you get the blue uh, liquid out and, and then as soon as it dries, uh, it's a mask. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at this tree. Now you can see that it's all snowy and you can see how the snow is. So think about on the top of this, where the top of it is, and just kind of put the snow uh, kind of all over. So if you think about kind of where the tree, the shape of the tree and how the tree is and how the snow falls on it, you know, the snow is gonna be on top of the boughs. So we wanna get enough of this in here. You know, think about the top is going to be more rounded. And it'll come down here on the bottom like this as well. And 
just get enough in here. You know, there's a there's going to be a lot of snow on this tree, so we want to just make sure that we get it all covered. Okay, and then you can go back into the background now, and I just I just clean this off with my hands. And if you if you make a mistake here and you don't like how it looks, wait till it dries and then just rub it off and do it again. So we're going to go back in here now and put our snow in into the background. And you can just, you can kind of put this everywhere. Uh, you know, on top of the little church where the trees are. Uh, you can put it in here because, you know, the snow is gonna, it's gonna be everywhere. Where the stream is, and the rocks. So you can just get as much on here as you want. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I will be back. Okay, so our masking fluid is dry and I can tell because of the color change. So when it gets really dark blue like that, I know that it's dry and now it's safe to stamp over the top of all of that. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna start out with the little church and I've dipped my brush and pinched it off and I'm gonna start by pulling the color out of the lines. So this is where we always start and I think this will be the shady side over here. So I'm just gonna color this, start out by coloring that in all the way. and just pull out the color. So we're just kind of starting the process here. So this side also, uh, this little steeple, that will be also darker. And we want to show the snow. We want to show the snow on the roof. So let's put a little bit of blue. This is the dark blue onto our palette. And just take a little bit of this color and just come along the side of the of the roof line and that's going to pop up that that snow and make it look like it's um, it's a snowy roof and I think I'm just going to put a little more color in here so I'm taking a little more of this color and really darkening this in so this is going to be on the shady side so we can do that and then let's add a little color now to the door. And we can do that with the brown. So this is that dark brown. And you can make this door whatever color you want. Tucked back in there behind that little hill. So cute. And I think I'll take just a little bit of this brown and just run it along the edge of the roof line here. So I think I'll put some detail into this door now. So I'm gonna use my fine tip, my twin tone. So this is the dark brown and you can see I'm gonna make a, a just a really dark line here on the top and then I'm gonna just make some details in the door. Put the little door handle back in. And actually we can really darken this little, this little line up here too. And where these little windows are and you can come back and do a little more of this too later okay so let's put some color into the windows and I just think this church should have really sunny welcoming windows so I'm going to turn the lights on in it and make these yellow same with these in the front and I've left just kind of a little detail in here. I just think that adds a lot to just put a little tiny detail in there. And then let's let's do these up here too. Starting to look like a little three-dimensional um, church. And I'm just going to kind of mess up the front a little bit. You know, we want to see some shadows in here. So even though this little church is white, um, it doesn't, it shouldn't be all white. And then this little window here, color that in. And now I'm going to just add a little darker shadow here on the side. And that's pretty good for right now. We can always come back to it. Um, let's put a little detail in here. 
So I'm going to use this really, um, this really light gray, and I'm just going to show you how you can put a detail in here. So I'm just going corner to corner, and then just drawing a line all the way across the top. So you can see that just adds a little extra something. Cute. And we can also do that to the roof because the snow probably wouldn't stick to this steeple roof. So we can put a little detail in there too. Just to kind of mix it up a little bit. Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's put our trees in. And we're gonna start out with the big tree. So here's that big fir tree. And we don't need the whole thing. Um, it's a pretty big tree. So I'm gonna use two colors. Now I'm using a cool green. So this is the 249, the cool green. And I'm not, I'm not inking the whole thing. See what I'm leaving off here? This, the, um, the stump, the trunk, and the bottom of the tree. And then I'm gonna go over it with the dark blue. And then I'm just going to uh, stamp it in here um, a couple of times. So just like that. And let's add just, let's add a little more green to it and we'll put another one uh, right here. And you know, when you add water to these, you don't have to add a lot because we really want to see that these are fir trees. So um, just a little bit. Okay, so let's go on and add our smaller trees in here now. So here's the little one. And we're just gonna do these with the dark blue. So I'm just gonna ink this whole thing now with the dark blue and maybe put a couple of these up here and maybe one up here and then maybe just a couple up here. And the same thing with these. You know, you don't want to, um, you don't want to get too much water on here. Just touch it with your brush. Just kind of soften it up a little bit. And now we're going to come in here and put some color back into these, these hills. So we're going to do that with the same blue. And I'm just gonna kind of wash it out a little bit so it's pretty light and I'm just gonna put in uh, some color in here. And you can just kind of follow this line. And add a little bit more back in here. Bring some in there. And then let's go a little darker and we'll, we're gonna put some shadows in here because this is this is really gonna make a difference. We add a little shadow in here from where these trees are. And these two. Put a little shadow back in here also. And then let's go ahead and go on to the sky and we're just gonna add some sky color in here. because so we really wanna see that snow. You know, we pull that uh, masking fluid off, we really wanna see that, um, see those white snowflakes coming down. And I can leave, you know, a little cloud line back here too. Or you can, you can also just make it another snowy hill. You can just keep going. Okay, so starting to come together here. Got our little hill in the background. Our little trees. Okay, so let's go on to the stream. And we're going to uh, just start by pulling this color out, out of the lines, just follow the stream around. Add a little more color to it. So this, this little painting doesn't take a lot of colors. Mostly just this cool blue. Or just 
just kind of bringing this all around. Now, we wanna make this bank, we wanna build this bank up so that it looks like it's coming up a hill. And in order to do that, we just put a shadow on it. So we just do that with um, a simple blue line. So you just, you're just coming along the side like this and just kind of following this around. And this, this little line can kind of continue up here. And right here, as this comes around the bend, same. And then under here, this is gonna be darker. And you can see how that just builds that, that little bank up. This is, this is so fun to do. And don't, don't be intimidated by stuff like this. It takes a little bit of practice, but if you just sit down and just practice your just practice doing snow and building these little banks up and putting this dark color in underneath, you'll be surprised how quickly you get it. You really will. And then let's um, let's pull the color out of the of the little rocks now. Uh, the, remember the highlight. So we're mostly just pulling the color out of the bottom of the rocks. So we're leaving that highlight on here. Just like that. And we're also going to add a little blue to it again. Just, just where you think it would be the darkest and that would be underneath. Because remember the light's coming from the top. And just where you think that would be. Now I would take my, uh, my twin tone now and I would just really add some dark areas in here where the rocks are next to each other, you know, in these little cracks. And just add a little extra color in there. You could do it also with your brown, with the brown twin tone. And you could go back in here with some brown also. And it just, it really gives a little more dimension to these. You can see how that just kind of pops them out a little bit. And then you can just take your brush and just kind of soften it a little bit. You know, just get a big sheet of watercolor paper, stamp this stamp a few times on there, and just practice. Before you start putting a whole scene together and you've spent a lot of time on it and you don't want to mess it up, just practice doing this part. You know, getting the rocks in there, try, try it with a, um, a little winter scene and just follow this, this water all the way around. Okay, so we've got, we're making progress here. And let's just put a little, let's do our little path here. So uh, in order to do a little path coming over the top of the hill, we're gonna make, make that an arch you know, as it's coming over, just like this. And again, that's gonna be darker, see on the bottom. So you're building, you're building this little, um, you're building this little hill. Let's get a little darker in here along the edge. Okay, and that's good enough, that will do it. Okay, so let's go on now to our tree right here. It's kind of an eyesore right there with that blue on it. And I want to um, show you how to stamp these fur boughs on here. So I'm gonna show you this first and then we'll do it on that actual tree. So I've, I've got this little fur bow like this and I've used my masking fluid, okay, it's all covered. So I wanna show you how to stamp it because it's a little hard to see because of all that masking fluid. So we're gonna start out with the top, just like this, and then we're gonna come down and just keep working your way down and use this as a little um, pattern as you're going down. And then you're just kind of turning this as you get to the bottom. As you go down a little bit more here and there you go and that's what it should look like so we're just using this as a pattern kind of like a triangle and as you go you're just you're um you're bringing those boughs down so let's do it on here 
So I've got my little fur bow a couple of times. Just, you know, stamp it on here a couple of times and just kind of work your way down as you go. Just turn it a little bit. And then as you come down to the bottom, just turn it around a little bit more. Okay, so now we're gonna add some water to that. Dip your brush, pinch it off, and then add the water and kind of blend this off. Same, same with this tree. You wanna see those, you know, fur boughs, so you don't wanna get it, get too much water on it. But you do have a lot of, we do have a lot of white that we're showing, so we do wanna get this green in here. And just kind of come all the way around like this. Now be, be sure this is really dry before you uh, rub all of this off. So let's just go back over everything and just see if we've got everything um, colored the way we want it. Put this back in here. Um, actually, let's go ahead and put our fence in. That's something we can do while this is drying. So I've got my little fence here. And this fence works both ways. So it, it has a little bend to it, so you can either bend it down or bend it up. So I think in this case, um, we'll just do it this way. And we're just gonna stamp it in here like that. And then uh, maybe another one. And then another one. So we got our little fence. This little thing just works like a charm. It really does. And if you, if you see it here, um, you're missing a post and that really bugs you. Uh, just put it in with your fine tip. So it it really um, it's really versatile. Now this one you can see it kind of ended here, but I'm just going to leave that because I want it to look like it's kind of buried in the snow. So I do. I kind of like that. That was just part of it. Okay, I think we are ready to um, rub this off. So let's just let's start out by doing these here. Let's just take all of this off out of the sky so we can see our snow falling. And under here. And then let's remove this now off of our tree. And you can see how that just really um, looks like a little snowy tree. So one, one more step with this, and that is to add just a little bit of a shadow underneath um, underneath this snow. So just take your fine tip and I'll, I'll hold this up just so that you can see it. Um, just to, just to give it a little more dimension. And then let's, let's put a shadow on this tree too. So we just want to kind of, um, pull this, pull this out here like this. Yeah, let me hold this up so you can see it. You see that little shadow underneath the snow? Um, don't stress out about it too much, um, but just get a little bit underneath there so that you can give it a little more dimension. But it will just kind of do its thing. You can always go back in here if you think you want to add another fur bow or something in here, you can, you can do that too. So I'm just going to now um, just finish up this little rocky area and maybe just put some lines in here. Um, we can put some little shadows in here where this fence is. Just soft little shadows. Um, the more that you, you know, play with these, the more courage you will have um, to do stuff. And then let's, um, let's put a little detail in here now to this little creek. So I'm just using this little branch and I'm just gonna just color it a little bit and just stamp this in here. And maybe one in here. Looks like the little creek is kind of frozen over, but it's got a few little dead dead branches in here. And, and then let's just, since we've got this kind of growing in the snow, let's just put a little shadow in here. And I think 
we're about finished. Let's just finish that little garland on here and we'll be finished with this little project. Now, uh, this is this area where I wanna put the garland. It's obviously too small for a stamp, but you can get the idea of the garland really easily. So we're gonna use this green, we're gonna use the fine tip. And I'll hold this, I'll hold this up too uh, when I'm finished. And you just wanna make a bunch of little um, lines little lines and dots as you come around. And let me hold this up so you can see. So just tiny little lines and dots. And then if you want to, you can add a little water to it and just kind of blend it out. And uh, you can do this, you know, across the side, you can do it up in the eaves under here. Uh, you can do it wherever you want. And then let's just add uh, some little red to it. Uh, just because you know when it's Christmas, you just kind of want to put a little red in it somewhere. And I think that's really subtle and just really cute. And I would, of course, um, add some glitter to this. Now I'm going to just go up underneath here just because I want to really show that detail. And a little cross on the top would be cute. Whoops, I didn't get all of this off. Make sure you get all of your masking fluid off. And then probably just next to these little windows. You know, under here. These little twin tones are just, they're just the best. Okay, I think that is about finished. Um, of course, you can add your own tape to it. Make sure that you sign and date. You know, every time you do these little projects are gonna be different. And of course, try it with something different too. It doesn't have to be Christmas, it could just be a winter scene. So I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all next week on Wednesday Live on Facebook. Thanks so much for joining me.